Okay, so now I'm back here and I'm going to begin to compose. So, remember, I've got this piece of lead here. And remember also that ultimately I need, when I look at my text block, I need it to look like it's in the mirror image. The best way to hold the composing stick is to kind of tilt it toward yourself. And I'm actually, this might be hard to see at this angle, but I'm tilting it so that this bottom corner here is down and it's at a slight angle. There's a tendency to want to hold it flat, hold it perfectly flat and to set everything because you can look right at it. But if you hold it at a slight angle, gravity will keep that loose text in place while you're setting. So I'm going to set the name of our class. So I'm going to set building a better book. So I'm going to start by grabbing the B put it right here. I'm actually going to put it in reading order because it's looking at me. It's facing at me right now. So I'm going to start B U I L just as if I was spelling the word, but I am putting it upside down. If I look, if you look here, you'll see that the Nick that I talked about is facing up. And as I start to put my other letters here, and I'm going to try and keep this steady as I grab the other letters, B, U, I, we'll see if I make spelling mistakes. Embarrassing as an English professor, I suppose, but I'm trying to think about the recording and the composing as I do this. And now I'm going to grab a D. And I want to point out something. When we're setting, because type is a mirror image, a D should look like a B, and a B should look like a D. P should look like Q, and Q should look like P. This is where that phrase, mind your P's and Q's, comes from. Because even though you know that it's all mirror image, when your brain looks at that, it says, oh, it's a B. Uh, that means it's a D. Build. And now I need my ing, build ing, i, woo, n, g. All right, I've got to the end of my word. I've got building there. Now, you notice I'm holding it steady with my thumb. This would allow me, if I wanted to, because I'm exerting some pressure, to kind of spot check it. I can turn it around and make sure that it is building in mirror image. And the more you do this, the better you get at reading in mirror image. That looks like building. I don't think I've made any mistakes, but we'll find out later when I do my proof. So here now I need a quad. Remember we talked about those quads. And you'll see in your job case where the quads are, the different size quads. But I'm just going to choose one and I need to insert that quad before I go for my next letter. So then I'm going to put an A, and then after the A, I need another quad. And now let's get another B. Building A, B, E, T, T. And again, I'm just looking to see that all those nicks are lined up. You can kind of see them right there, right? It tells me that everything is oriented the way that it should be. TT, another E, and then R, and then a quad. I didn't put the parentheses around better, although I might add them. We'll see here. B O O and then K. I'm gonna forget where K is. Sorry, I haven't been in the shop in almost six months. I am forgetting things. There's my K. Alright, now I'm at the end of my line. Remember I said, though, we need every line to be flush and even. So what's going to happen now? Well, now I need spacing all the way to the end, all the way until it's flush at the end. It needs to line up 
And this is again kind of an engineering problem. I have to use different size spaces to make sure that every line is nice and square. Now, I actually want this line to be centered. So how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to do that by putting equal quads on both sides of the text until the text is nice and centered and flush. Pretty close now. I might actually need a little tiny um, extra space. There are little slivery spaces that we can use when we have to get just a little bit more. But what do I need now before I go to my next line? I need another strip of 25 point leading. I put that on. If I wanted more space between this line and the next, I would add more lead to make more space. All right, now I'm gonna compose a few more lines and I will show you the next step after that.